Four cannabis lounges will soon be opening in Lansing. There will be spaces where people will be able to consume cannabis. Edward Wellness on Lansing Southside is one of them. And when the city of Lansing said they were going to allow it, we were very excited to have the opportunity to apply and uh, very fortunate to uh, be at the sort of front end of uh, the development of the consumption lounge. So we really look forward to the, the opportunity to bring this to the south side of Lansing. The city approved four businesses, one in each of the city's four wards, to have cannabis lounges. Rebel Industries, Edgewood Wellness, Common Citizen and Downtown Capital. A consumption lounge concept is pretty new in the United States and it's inspired somewhat by the uh, Amsterdam style coffee shop and um, you know we hope to bring that you know be one of the first uh, places in Michigan that have uh, not only a cannabis store but a, a, a coffee shop type area where people can get a good beverage but also sit and relax and hang out with your friends or again do you want to do some work for the day and sit in a little different environment there's really nothing like that around here and we hope to, to bring that to the community. City clerk Chris Swope says Mariana businesses have brought good things to the city. The legalized marijuana business has, has really provided a lot of uh, benefits for the city of Lansing. Um, you know, we, uh, we have seen a lot of improvement uh, to uh, existing buildings, uh, some of which were very dilapidated. Uh, we've seen some, uh, some jobs produced. At the end of the 2021 fiscal year, Lansing had 16 licensed marijuana retail facilities and because they're here, the city just received over $900,000 in marijuana tax revenue from the state of Michigan. We are seeing this additional revenue uh, from the state, uh, from the uh, tax collection that the state makes uh, that comes back to the city as a uh, percent of the taxes collected and it's based on the number of uh, retail type establishments that we have here in the city. Since then 16 additional businesses have been approved including 12 retail businesses and four micro businesses which are grow and retail facilities all in one. This means a total of 32 establishments would qualify for revenue sharing. The lounges are not included in that but they should provide a safe environment for cannabis consumption. It's my ultimate hope that this is uh, you know a, a safe industry that provides good paying jobs for for folks in Lansing and you know I, I hope that uh, you know the black market continues to shrink. Um, we, we want a safe regulated legal market and we want to eliminate the, the black market um, in, in marijuana. The lounges still have to finish building out their facilities and get a state license before they get their actual license here in Lansing.